show is sponsored by Hive Mind CRM. It is more than just a CRM. It is a real estate and business mastermind that comes with an all-in-one CRM. You can have unlimited websites and users. You can call, text, RVM, and email all in one user interface. And you can set up custom automations for any type and multiple businesses. 65% of companies start using a CRM system within the first five years of business. Once implemented, the hive mind will save you on marketing, give you more time, and make more money. One of our users had his first $100,000 month using our system in June. We want to see you automate and accelerate your business. Text us at 210-972-1842 for future meetings and of course to get our $1 course on how to make more than six figures on one land deal. You can schedule your free demo today at hivemindcrm.io. What has been like the one takeaway that really like took you to the next level once you learned once you learned that one thing? Yeah, man. It was it was two things for me. It was understanding that this is a people business and not a transaction business. I think we get caught up in the transactions because that's what leads to the money. But when I stopped focusing on trying to close deals and started focusing on trying to help people and solve problems that they had, I ended up getting way more deals and being way more successful. So people focus definitely helped take me to the next level. There you go, there you go. So what's one thing you can tell a new investor that they're just starting out? What's one thing they need to learn? Yeah, man. Is it the process? No, it no, the no, it no. It's, it's, it's the process is the process, right? People have been investing in real estate for decades and decades and decades. The steps are the same. There's a little bit of change with technology, but it's not the process that helps people get to success. It's the mindset, because it takes a certain mindset to embark on this journey. But the only difference between somebody who's a successful investor and is doing tons of deals and somebody who hasn't quite gotten there yet is when it gets difficult, when it gets hard, when it gets boring, when it gets annoying, when you're just tired of it and you don't want to do it, the successful people don't quit, right? You just keep pushing. There's times when I'm spending money on marketing, I'm calling sellers, I'm making offers, everybody's saying no, it's, they, it, they bum you out, right? Yeah. And a lot of people quit when that stuff starts to happen. But if you can push through that and you can get through all that, you'll find success. My first deal changed my life. Before my first deal, I had a panic attack. I was worried about how I was going to take care of my family, how I was going to generate enough income to give my wife the life she wanted. I did one deal and knew that that problem was solved. And so from that point forward, I just felt this overwhelming urge to share this with as many people as possible. So I do all the podcasts because I just feel like I'm supposed to share this information. It's like uh, putting it on the world. And yeah, you don't know what's absolutely. Back. Absolutely, man. Anything that comes back is a benefit. I do it because I feel like I'm supposed to. The reason why I, do, I really go hard in podcasting is because I'm a product of it. Yeah. So I feel like I'm really in touch with it because I'm a product of it myself. So yeah. I really want to produce Absolutely. Podcasters. Absolutely. And I always encourage other people to start podcasting. Podcasts and YouTube channels are a cheat code for getting all the secrets to building wealth. Because people want to be on your platform. You get to interview them, people think you already know this stuff. No, you're learning as you're talking to these people. You're getting all the juicy game because somebody just wanted to be a part of your platform. And they want to give it to you. They want to give it to you, man. It's, Cheat code, if you want to learn anything in any industry, start a podcast. You will learn so much from the people you get to interview. People are always looking for a mentor or a coach or somebody to help them out. And it's hard to find that if you can't add value. And I think people overthink adding value too much, right? You don't always have to add value in your specific niche. Like I tell people, if you're going to a real estate investors conference, you've never done a deal, just go talk to people, listen for something that you're good at Maybe you can help them with it. Maybe you can help them collect names at the door. It doesn't have to be something like real estate related, but if you add value, then you'll get the mentors and the coaches. If you help somebody, they will want to help you. I saw somebody post that recently. They're like, uh, if you really, if you're just starting out, and they said that, that, that yeah. to add value in your own way, yep. and they'll usually come out and some value yeah. to you based on what you At networking need. events, people are looking to take. Yeah. So if you do the opposite and you go and you look to add, people remember that and they'll want to help you. So, how many doors do you have now? Five years in real estate, how many doors have you got up to? We just hit about 80 doors. 80 doors. Yeah. I think last time I talked to you, you were like 45. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> You're moving. We're moving, man. We're moving. I'm buying. Wheeling and dealing. What, what's the most important part of your, with your team? The most important part of my team. Wow. The most important part of my team. So, I'm a, I know a lot of people say you shouldn't work with family or yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the exact opposite. Like, yeah, yeah. I want to work with my family. I want to make this a family business. I want to give opportunities to my family. Yeah, me too. And so my, my wife is my property manager. There you go. Like when she started doing that and really doing well with it, 
it's freed up so much time for me to focus on more income generating activities and it's helped us grow. Obviously we've been growing. My sister-in-law works for us. That's been cool. She's a handyman, really, like build stuff. So that's been amazing. And then we just hired a social media manager and that's been good too, because as you know, managing social media, it's hard, man. It's, a it's work, job. it's work. And you got to stay on top of trends and you got to really pay attention to what's going on so you can maximize the value of it. And so now I have somebody that only focuses on that and it's really helped take me out of those activities to focus on the deal finding and money making activities. The show is sponsored by The List Guys. Do you need more leads in your local or virtual market? One in 10 small businesses don't invest in any kind of marketing. The List Guys have over 35 plus list types to choose from and you can mix and match any list or criteria. We also use the skip trace list and provide up to seven numbers and email addresses. Every list you purchase will be scrubbed against previous purchases. The List Guys are here to save you time. Contact the List Guys today at www.1listguys.com. That's www.the number one listguys.com.